I don't like wasting any wood. I love using up offcuts. So here's a nice piece of jarra. This offcut here has been shaped into a kitchen chopping board. But it just looks like a piece of wood, doesn't it? It's so simple just to give it an embellishment like this. Look at that, just that little tiny twig there just gives it a lift, makes it something totally different. I was gonna show you how simple and quick that is to do it. What we need for that job is a V-tool. So here's a pair of them. These are these nice Kirschen German made ones. It's a V-shaped carving tool and there are uh, different sizes. So on here, this one, the four means it's four millimeters across the top end. This one here is six millimeters across the top. So there they are. They're beautiful and it's just such a simple tool. I'll show you how it's done. So I've got here a nice piece of lemon scented gum. It'll make a, a really lovely chopping board. We want nice hardwoods for this, so this is gonna be really good. I'm gonna do a little embellishment in this corner here. First of all, I just need to make it nice and still. So I'm going to cramp it down in position. A couple of these nice Bessie F cramps. I need it to be still. It's very simple. I'm gonna grab myself a pencil. Always helps to have a pencil, so I'll just sort of work out my design. I'm gonna start here, do something that comes up this way, maybe cross them over in there. Two little short twig sections with some leaves. There you go, two very simple twigs. It's just gonna be really nice. So I'm gonna start out with doing the stems, all right? Really important thing with this is to make sure that those top corners don't disappear underneath the surface of the wood, because if they do, you're gonna just tear great chunks out. So you've got to be mindful of that. It's all about keeping the tool at the right angle. So I'm gonna use a carving mallet here for this job. I'll start over here. Now this hand is down quite low because I need to be pushing to keep the bevel engaged. So I keep a nice strong push down into there. Now the twig's gonna be wider at the at, at the bottom end of it, isn't it? So I'm gonna go in deep. Lots of nice small cuts. As I come out here, I'm gonna gradually lower the tool down so it disappears. Yeah, that's looking okay. So now I'm gonna do the other branch piece coming out along this way. So come in for a closer look. Now I'm going to do the leaves. So the trick with the leaves is the shape of the leaf, like this, wider in the middle, means that I'm going to start shallow, go deeper, and then come back up and out. So that's all in the tool control. You see it's very quick and easy. So I'm just using the 4mm um, V chisel for this. That way I'm just doing really small, narrow leaves. If I wanted to do bigger leaves, I would go for the six mil, something bigger, because again, I don't want to make sure that those corners don't disappear. So it's really simple. I'm gonna start the leaf away from the stem, just a tad. So we're going in deep and coming out shallow. Very simple. So we've just taken a pretty ordinary rectangular piece of wood, turned it into a nice chopping board that stands out in the crowd because it's just got this really nice little embellishment. So simple, all done. I did this with one tool. That was the four mil V tool. If I used the six mil one, I could have gone bigger and deeper and made wider leaves. 
but I was just doing something small because it's a small board. Nice little trick, hey? If you'd like to have a look at the tools that we've been using today, you'll find them on the, the links below. You can also come in and see us at TimberCon in either Melbourne or Perth. Other than that, there's plenty more videos where this one came from. See you again. Thank you.